What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Sunny's at Jackie's. I am here today with Jimmy Big Muscles. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in today. We are in Little Italy today. We've been trying to collab for a while. We finally got a date in and we're here. What are we doing today, Jenny? So today we're gonna take a spin-off of Marco's World NYC. We're gonna see how far $25 could get us in Little Italy. I'm sure his videos, he could make it stretch a little bit farther, but let's test our <laughs> luck. Let's go. It's early in the morning. First thing I need to put my money to is an espresso and some type of pastry. Gotta start the morning off right. Breakfast of champions. A Let's go. Pistachio cannoli coming right up. I'll have a squirtella and I'll have an espresso too. So Excellent choice. That looks good. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that. This is breakfast. I'm thinking after this cannoli, maybe a clothing store. They have really cute shops here. I don't pull my street, so I might be stopping in there. See if this was worth my $6. I'm down $9. You're down $9? I need the cafe. Now here's I feel like the biggest rivalry. That These is. These two pastries right here. Spiedel or cannoli. Salute. Alright, salute. Hang on, it's worth a lot. That's espresso. I just burned my mouth, but... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Alright, so $9 in. You said you want clothes. I don't know if I can sacrifice any dollars on clothes when we have all this food here. I'm probably, I know. Gonna, I'm probably gonna eat like a pig instead. Mulberry Street's a hot spot, so there's some good restaurants there. I could also do a good plate of pasta right on Mulberry Street. I could always go for a good plate of pasta. Of course, we hit up the pastries first, because naturally. And wow. after, probably. Too. Yeah. <laughs> look at the cross section. Wow, look at that steam. Mm -hmm. You know what's worth $25? Sfiadel off Little Italy's streets itself. <laughs> good one and you end up with powdered sugar all over yourself all over and i always wear black so it shows he's just showing off that he's <laughs> italian you know this is cute oh these aprons how much do we think these are uh i think like 115 dollars <gasps> that's that's a big chunk although look at this i don't know is it one fifteen ninety nine dollars or is it my fifteen dollars going towards something else <laughs> 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 I thought we were supposed to get pizza. <laughs> we will. We need to go shopping first. Jimmy's like, what did I get myself into? This is one of my favorite stores on Mulberry Street. It's so cute. Yeah. What do you guys think? Um, <laughs> what do we think? Pizza, sunglasses. I know, that is going to bust my budget. This says... Sale Sunnies five or two for eight. Really big. Yeah, bold. For your health. I'm thinking. I'm thinking pasta, and we'll come back. See where we're at. Did I mention it earlier? It's gonna be a bit of a competition here to see who does better with the twenty-five dollars. Yeah. If Jimmy yeah. spent his twenty-five dollars best, or if I spent my twenty-five dollars best, and so what far, you guys think? You have a cannoli. I have a squirtella and an espresso. I have more energy than you. I have more focus. I think I'm gonna win. All right, all right, for now. It's a little confident, but... That's what the espresso is for. It's a little confident, but okay. We could get food here. I got the vodka pasta here last night. Let me, let me. My girlfriend, Georgelli, <laughs> she got Alfredo. Hey, on my option there. I'm not giving in that easy. I think my favorite restaurant on Mulberry Street in Little Italy is La Mella. But I'm also a little biased because my fam and I used to go there all the time. Yes, thank you. Looks great. That looks good. I'm a big sweet person. Like, I don't have like a sweet tooth, I have sweet tea. They all like sweets. I could do a sandwich. Five dollars for two handshake, you can't beat it. I'm putting this nickel to good use. Thank you. No, let's keep walking. I think there's better. This place looks good though. <laughs> All right, guys, I have two arancini here. Five dollars for both of them. They have prosciutto and ricotta inside. Oh, actually, these aren't arancini at all. No? No. No, it's just prosciutto and ricotta. 
How's it taste? Good? Good. Give it a dunk in the sauce. It doesn't look like regular sauce. I think it's like a spicy sauce. I saw, okay. I saw some peppers in it. I'm happy with my decision right now. I'm still working with it. I'm yeah. $14 in. Espresso, soyetella to uh, ricotta bowl. I'm not gonna lie, you're making moves right now. I am. <laughs> you're oh, getting a little too comfortable. This? Oh my god! Got the gelato here last night. It was Did busy. you? What time is it? 11 a.m.? I can have ice cream. That looks really good. Can I taste one? Yeah. That's really good. My favorite is the pistachio. I like the pistachio too. My dad always used to do a scoop of chocolate, a scoop of pistachio. Yeah. So good. Close to my budget. It's gonna be worth it though. This is like dessert day. Yeah. Mine didn't come with a cookie. Mine come with a cookie yesterday. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it's quality over quantity, you guys, okay? Remember that, Jimmy. <laughs> I feel confident in my purchase. <laughs> oh my god. I'm at 10.50 right now. That's what I have left. Oh, you have more than me. Oh, smart, I got more than me. I got more. <laughs> I'm at 10.05. All right, we're doing pretty well. I'm feeling like a plate of pasta or a really good slice of pizza. This is music. Jimmy's about to lose, basically. No, I think I'm winning right now. Yeah, it's like a it's like a free for all here. You can kind of just cross the street whenever you like. <laughs> I'm thinking we stop at Lombardi's Pizza. Right now we can't afford any of We're at Upside Pizza. We're gonna see if we can get a slice. Like please. I've been like clenching onto my money for dear life. I lost my time. Uh -oh. oh no, I got this in there. So I'm All right, so I have six dollars left. Jimmy has five because he's losing. Um, five oh five. I think I'm gonna go for a coffee. I feel like that might be my my landing. A Chipotle, <laughs> Starbucks right here. It should be illegal in Little Italy. I think we need to start a movement. Boycott Starbucks and boycott Chipotle anywhere near Little Italy, 50 mile radius. <laughs> you heard it here first. Is this five dollars, Chief? That's my last, last item in my $25. I had $5.05 to work with. It's a little bit more than that. But How much was it, Jimmy? Tell everyone. It was about $6. Maybe, <laughs> maybe $6 in some sense, but... Uh, it was good. But see, I have connections here, so that's why I get it for $5. <laughs> you always gotta know it's a guy, really right? Good. I love this because it's super refreshing, and I'm always thirsty. My double espresso. I hope your heart's ready for that. <laughs> My heart is ready. Ready, ready, ready. So, I got a double espresso. It is $5.50, and I think that left me at, what did I have, $7.50? No, $6.50. So, I am left with change. But I decided I will give Jimmy my change for his lemon sorbet. And it equals out. And it equals out. So, regardless, we had a really great day in Little Italy. This is off the $25 budget. So, thanks for coming out today, Jimmy. Thanks for having Salute. me. And we'll see you guys on the next episode.